A humanities professor at Rice came to us with a historical narrative about time. See, in, in ancient times, people looked to the sun and the moon as their sole source of time. You know, noon is when the sun's directly overhead. But over time, we've gotten away from this conception and moved towards clocks and calendars and other things that compartmentalize time. And they bring time to this abstract concept of hours and minutes and days, but that gets us away from kind of the true nature of life on Earth, which is the way that our time is governed by the sun and the moon rising and setting. And so the idea is to bring back that conception of time, to reconnect time to the motion of the sun and the moon. He tasked us with building an art exhibit that demonstrates this principle. We're building a 3D clock. So the general idea here is that uh, we're displaying the location of the sun and moon relative to you specifically. So like these little people over here are supposed to symbolize like the viewer. Uh, highlights include sitting man and man leaning against the axle casually. So these locations that are displayed are very specific to you. So like you're supposed to be able to look in the direction that the pointers are indicating and that's where these heavenly bodies are. But this is uh, pointing directly, it's like slowly calibrating to where the moon is right now. And then now uh, it's going to continue tracing these different locations throughout the day. So I would say that at this point in the program, we're probably nearing like 9 p.m., 10 p.m., something like that. Uh, and then as the evening progresses, it'll go down even more and then back up. When people first approached it, a lot of them were really, I guess, confused as to what it was and what the purpose of it was. And I think one of the questions that we got a lot was, why do you make this or what does it do really? And I kind of like it that it is more complicated than a lot of other projects just because a lot of the projects that you see in these beginning engineering classes tend to be a lot more simplistic or kind of only deal with one type of engineering while well, the project that we're working on deals with coding and electronics and mechanics and building a lot of things by hand and having to make a lot of designs on our own in order to have them do exactly what we want to do and that's something that I'm glad that I've had the experience to do since it's not something that I would have had the experience with any other project.